और दाजो ताज मालूम हो तो और बोलो बोले जी आज दाजो साले तू तू बोला ये कि अत्ता यो मनी किया हो ओपा असारे में पाने आ फिर जो हो आ फिर तू तो कौन हो बाने अल्लाह ने लाज बतो आपको पता नहीं हुआ नहीं शाह अल्लाह तू तो डर मारो अल्लाह ब्रांका ने बाबू मसूदो आली वसल्लम ऐसी आज ऑफिसर लॉ आली वसल्लम सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम ऐसी बात सी नॉन ऐसी आज ऑफिसर लॉ आली वसल्लम सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम आने भी दिए जुबाई हो ऐसी आज ऑफिसर लॉ आली वसल्लम सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम आप लोग कह रहे हैं अल्लाहु सल्ली
akbar Allahu akbar wala la wala quwwata illa billahi al-azim subhanallah wa alhamdulillah wala ilaha illallah Allahu akbar Allahu akbar wala la wala quwwata illa billahi al-azim subhanallah
Amna umma suli Ala Sayyidina Muhammadin Ala wa sallam Wa ala alihi Wa sahabihi Wa manam tabi'ina wa iksan Ila yawa yawa aswa Mwakwa toho gafa na kwe Mwakwa yitye Mwakwa kwa yinye abalaba Ate yi afa Eda kwa mwakwa yisipo yi afisi yi afu video Tuli tolo ma tanabe wa Muhammad Kosi yi asis tanabe wa kini Tu vei te ni Eda kwa tu vei kata yi du Mwakwa afu yi wala yi te jen yi yawa Kwa yi sista wa te wa nikale Walau aku orang cuma nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Apa nasib pun apa nasib kalau lo jatuh sini bawa bawa. Allah tuh bila perahan. Allah dah idah idah. Nah, suka juga tu berukum. Oba soro soro. Oba tu mungkin orang nule. Tiada je suka jualan kue. Asi malu dia jauh tu ni, tolong sini kira jangan kau bawa anak berujar ada. Eja saya alhamdulillah wa alimi. Abah cium fikir saya lumi. Eja kasi alhamdulillah irobar alimi. Abah cium di kawal jauh kawal dia suci ni jauh tu ni. Eja kasi alhamdulillah irobar alimi. Abah tu bukan orang ni, tu dia wasi. Tu fikir suatu hari nanti ada. Apa nak nak tukar fuh? Ejaan saya Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. Kau cinta orang berbalau wa. Orang itu baik bagi gua ye leh ya lah. Ati kau buat tim beli no aye. Kau cinta orang orang apa apa ni jual orang berbalau wa. Tuk aja kasih Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. Ejaan kalau kau kasih Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. Wa kulli Alhamdulillah. والسلام على عباده الذين يسدوا فا
Neuroplasticity is the ability for the brain to to construct new pathways. So all the one we are used to ideas through repetition. Being a machine, being a machine, we can see all the time. So we repeat the things all the time. You know, I believe in you know, you know, you know. So what I was trying to say in the aspect of God is that they told us some philosophers told us that no, uh, in fact, of course it was just yesterday from Kaiwin Kony by this um, German philosopher. And he was saying that um, in the olden days, there was no religion. So what happened is that there was corruption on earth and all this, uh, there was no laws because among the, the primitive human beings, if I go see government go on that, so I go I know that, I go I know that. And we all know the way, you don't know who is it. So, everyone will remind me, nonsense, the way. So then, some intellectuals, they came into us, they came to me and uh, decided, okay, you know, I'm going to pay, I'm going to create a story for the way, I'm going to pay uh, one invisible bill to show everybody. So, actually, that was how it was created in the white invited command. So, once upon your prayer, we are long, wow, so, but I'm going to see, I'm going to see, so that was how we did join But at the same time, these people are saying there's no God. But all these religious intolerance don't happen in the wars and what do happens in the Middle Ages or even since the beginning of time. The blame is on the religion and even on God. So my question was if there was no God. If man created God to kill injustice, don't happen in the world. Then this injustice, who is who was who is actually to blame for this injustice? Is it man or God? Because it, it's kind of contradicting because we could see alone. Then the problem don't happen in the world is alone. So in short, good boy, Tabanka will know. And all this injustice and religious intolerance is beats the fact you uh our human being, I'm going to have a problem our money. We are the devil amongst ourselves. So this brings me to the second part, which is knowledge and and wisdom. Well, I explain many of us today we have the tendency of separating uh, religion, philosophy, and science. Okay, they are three distinct things. And to me, I actually uh, famous as Firm it as, should I say, you know, science, philosophy, and, uh, and religion, they are kind of three sides of the same coin, even though they can't be three sides of, of a coin, but it's just a way of putting it, the same thing. It says, Bedouin Kao from the beginning, even in the Quran, as for the Allah of Hafi, Udom Aida said, you know, pick up the with wisdom, and that is the basis of, of philosophy. To, to construct a society based on reasoning. So, to interrupt my example, today we, we have the tendency of separating these three things. So, for example, as a Muslim or as a religious person, we're seeking the knowledge based on religion. And maybe other people, maybe they do well, maybe very religious. So he's going to seek his own knowledge based on something that is out of religion. So. These three concepts that we see study everything, but we realize that they are not actually indistinct. But so, so, the the ammunition and the power that really that really conquer all these attacks that is being against um, a religion or even against ourselves and. Talking about knowledge, there is this phrase, this sentence, to chip own own circulate around, which is in a few comments for It says, time is the most precious entity in the universe. And Matimoko statement here, I love this so much. I mean, it was so beautiful. The Savanka will time is very, very important. And the Savanka will statement here was actually to be time is the most precious entity. Yeah, but he uh, lost his um, time, one minute, you can't go back to him. But recently, 
just I was just thinking about it and Maru going, if you don't know time, you won't say time is the most precious entity in the universe. So which brings us to the fact that maybe time is not even the most precious entity in the universe, but knowledge is the most precious entity because so about more time you you can't say the time is the most precious entity. So knowledge in one hand and the wisdom to to be able to access the knowledge you have. So what I was trying to explain in the book, which I'm explaining, invited one, because most of the tests, one way, is not an explanation. There are short texts and points. And the goal is not for the leg, for the reader to um, to read a full page, but just a few phrases and to think about what was written. So what I was trying to explain is many most of the things, many of the things um, that is in our world is actually a lack of the knowledge we have. The knowledge we have about even ourselves is so minimal that we mean other we end up um, judging other people because we don't understand the nature of man. And this actually leads me to the third class, which is the peace and tolerance. Um, I believe that the more we know about something, the more we are exposed to some knowledge, the more uh, we are tolerant to people. And for example,